Hi there. As we head back to school for the fall, you're probably wondering what sort of infections can we expect? Well, COVID has had a huge surge this summer, so it is running pretty rampant, at least in the 405. So if you start running fever, have chills or body aches, you certainly could be having flu symptoms, but we really haven't seen that around here at this point. So grab a COVID test and run it at home or call your doctor's office and see if they can get you tested because you certainly need to stay at home. Also, we have seen quite a bit of stomach virus lately. So if you have the crud or the creeping crud, which that means nausea, vomiting and or diarrhea, uh, you probably want to stay home with that too. You probably don't feel like going anywhere. We've seen several cases of strep and I've seen several cases of adenovirus too. That's a respiratory infection where people get the added bonus for no extra charge of pink eye. Back to school, back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. CDC and other government authorities have started recommending the same guidelines for COVID. We don't have to isolate at home for five days anymore. As long as you're fever free for 24 hours without medicine keeping it down and your symptoms are improving, then you're safe to return to work or school. Certainly, if you are going to be around either the very old or the very young or people who have suppressed immune systems, you may want to test to see if you're actively shedding virus. Those are special populations. Um, for people who are sending kiddos off to school for the first time, younger kids can expect to get sick between six and 12 times their first few years in school. Don't get too discouraged. It happens as these kiddos are getting exposed to germs that they haven't previously been exposed to before. At first, they're gonna catch everything. Same thing happens when teachers are new and they go into the schools for the first time. But then after several years, they get the immune systems of superheroes. Hats off to you, our educators. It certainly never hurts. If you catch a cold, grab some zinc, whether that is Zycam or cold ease lozenges or emergency. Something that has zinc in it can help significantly shorten the duration and lessen the severity of symptoms when you have a cold. Otherwise, most of the time we just recommend treating symptoms, making sure that you stay well hydrated, and not worrying too much about food intake because generally your appetite comes back as the symptoms resolve. So keep in mind people, sharing is not caring when it comes to germs. This is not just about you, it's about the greater good. I don't wanna hear about you sharing germs. Don't make me come over there. So. Hang in there this fall, stay away from sick people, and let's head into the fall ready to be healthy and active. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.